Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to build this decision model wherein we were trying to check the grade of a student. In this video, we are going to learn how we can integrate this decision model in uh, Oracle integration or any other application by using the REST APIs. For that, we have to click on this services arrow over here click on the plus button as you can see here it's written create a service to expose one or more output decision as public rest apis as we have only a decision table over here uh, we will be able to retrieve the response of this grade click on the plus button over here give the name grade check underscore api click on ok now it's asking for output decision click on grade check as we have only one decision over here uh, input will be our input uh, which is basically comprises of uh, fields that is name class and section and uh, now uh, we are done with creating our api and defining our uh, output and input for of this uh, rest api it's so simple over creating a rest api for the decisions uh, using the decision model click on this uh, hamburger menu and click on the payload so that we can get the url and request and response sample uh, json schema click on the payload if you click on the url you will get the url uh, which uh, we can use to consume from uh, so postman insomnia or uh, we can build a connection in oracle integration as you can see uh, we have got this uh, url with the help of which we can build our uh, oracle integration connection uh, for consuming within integration or you know, within any other application which is uh, capable of uh, consuming rest apis click on the request payload here if you see our uh, this is a json schema it accepts the input having uh, uh, three objects over here name class and the uh, section which is of type string and the response uh, we have grade check and uh, pass we can copy this url and uh, go to insomnia before that uh, what we can do is we can uh, activate this now let us activate this grade checker before calling uh, this application for that we have to click on this activate button over here uh, here we can uh, create a snapshot we can give the snapshot name over here if we have already created the snapshots uh, earlier we can uh, consume that from there if not we can time of activating we can create a, a snapshot we can give as a grid checker s1 snapshot 101 will give version 101.0 click on activate once we have activated our decision model we have to go back to this services get the url and paste in a tool like postman or insomnia i'm using insomnia let me head back to this click on the request payload copy this json schema if you don't know how to construct a json for this you can use any online editors which will convert the json schema to json here basically it expects this input and within input we have to send the name class and section an example for this is using this online converter from json schema to sample json you have to paste it over here the json sample json it will give you the sample json and go to the tool uh, select the if you are using insomnia we have to select the json in the body and uh, paste it over here and click on send in our case the student is raj is from class 1 section 8 like this we can uh, test our decision model and then coming to the response we can copy this uh, entire thing over from here go to the sample uh, json generator click paste here json schema click on generate json and uh, our uh, response will be available here yeah. it will basically have interpretation and in that uh, we will have the uh, grade check and the pass like a and the form which we, we can see it uh, in our tools like postman insomnia and similarly we can uh, use this url with the help of which we can build a connection and consume a decision model within the integration in our next video we will learn uh, how to make use of this if then else statements uh, and build a decision model